Now, the way, the way to think about this from a voice perspective is, if you put one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly, what I'm aiming to do is keep my chest slightly elevated. I'm aiming mm -hmm. to keep my chest kind of in a little bit of a confident posture, not too puffed out and not too over mm -hmm. overconfident. But if you were in a pantomime, Eugene, you'd be the hero of the pantomime. You'd be kind of chest out a little bit. You'd be kind of quite confident. If we keep mm -hmm. ourselves in that position with our, our spine in alignment from our hip to our neck, if I was to breathe now from using my belly, by pushing my belly out, I could breathe in, allow my belly to move forward. I can breathe out, allow my belly to move in. And it works really nicely. There's not much resistance to that. The second yeah. I collapse back into the chair, if you look at the space between my hands, if I collapse in, this space narrows and shortens. And what I've basically done here is collapse my chest forward onto my stomach. So if I was just to take the biggest breath I could take now, the path of least resistance is chest expansion. And mm -hmm. that's because I've collapsed onto my stomach. And so the only way I can breathe is by expanding my chest. Now, there's a problem when we do that. And the problem is, is that what we're trying to do is move air out through our vocal cords nice and smoothly. Now, if I mm -hmm. expand breathing from my chest, the rib cage is heavy. It's got loads mm -hmm. of little muscles in between the ribs. They're called the intercostal muscles. Now, the mm -hmm. intercostal muscles are tiny little muscles that recoil back. They pull your rib cage back in. You're also utilizing, if you remember the, the picture I showed you earlier of, of all the different muscles in the neck and in the throat. When yeah. you breathe from your chest, you're engaging those neck muscles to breathe. So you're breathing up, your neck's be becoming engaged. And that's just utilizing a load of muscle activity that you don't need when you're breathing. The problem then occurs when I try and breathe out. So I'm trying to produce my voice and I'm passing air through them. Because I've got the rib cage pulling back, I've got gravity working against me, so it's pulling everything down. What I get is a burst of air at the start of me using my voice. And all those mm -hmm. muscles in the throat where the voice box is, where the vocal cords are, have to brace to protect themselves from that pressure. So what you end up with is breathing in this way with your chest, it leads to already, before you've even started, tension in your voice. It can lead to reduced flexibility and it leads to reduced resonance in the voice. So what we're looking for mm -hmm. here is just shifting you down back into an abdominal breath. And if you're in a sitting position, the way you do that is you just straighten up. So imagine that you're on a Zoom call, you're working with your clients, you're working with, you're doing training. What you want to make sure is if you're doing that for a long period of time, you're straightening yourself up, you're supporting your own core and your own back just by sitting in this kind of position. And if you are in, uh, if you're st stood up presenting or doing anything where you need to be, be upright, be thinking about that position, be thinking about straightening up from the, from the hip to the neck, keeping your chest slightly elevated. The, the, we call this the splat breath. Speakers, please lose abdominal tension. So we release the body, we release the ab abdomen. We just breathe out. Now, this is something that's really challenging for some people. Some people find that they, you know, some people want to look an inch slimmer at the waist to complete strangers that they'll never see again. And if, if they do that, often we hold our stomach in. This idea of holding in and, and sucking in is something that a lot of people can relate to as being part of yeah. the way they hold themselves. And so part of this is about understanding that when you're using your, your voice, uh, you ideally want to be releasing your abdomen. Some particular uh, exercise regimes like Pilates, they teach zipping up and holding the core quite tight. Now, the, what I recommend to people who do that kind of thing is, is it's okay to hold your core tight as long as you're not always holding it tight. Because the second you're you. always holding it tight and you never let it go, all of a sudden mm -hmm. then you can run into some problems. Mm -hmm. um, when, when, if, if it becomes your default, then it can absolutely lead to your voice becoming really tight and really strained. Uh, so mm -hmm. first things first, let that belly out. I mean, I've got I've got lockdown belly. Uh, I've got a, a wife who's just we've just had a baby, so she's she's been eating everything that she can because she's breastfeeding our baby, and I'm eating everything with her. But I'm not actually getting rid of all those calories. So I've got I've got um, absolutely got an, an abdomen that maybe I would like to hold in a little bit more. But just let yeah. it go, let it go, and you will end up with a much more fluid and flexible voice. Wasn't that absolutely fantastic? I'm sure that you found a lot of information in this very short video, just so maybe like four or five, six minutes, however long it was. But that is not all. You can have access to the entire presentation of this amazing speaker, plus 40 more other presentations and speakers. And you can have access for life, you can have access to the video recording, to the audio recording, to the swipe files, to the transcripts, to 
all of the bonuses and the special gifts that all of the speakers and presenters and also the organizers are offering in the premium pass package. So if you like this, if you want more, make sure to sign up below for the premium pass and have lifetime access to everything. I'm sure it'll be one of the best investments you've ever made in your life, in yourself, in your practice, in your health, and also with working with clients. So go ahead, click on the button below, sign up for the premium pass, and we'll see you on the other side.